Hello students, I am Sundula from JK Nail School. Today we are going to continue the 6th chapter of the standard distribution analysis. Okay? So, in the previous class we have seen what is distribution, where the entire factors of production income is segregated into various parts. The factors of production made from land, labor, capital, organization. From that, the generation income is therefore. The generating income can be used it and then segregate those income. That is what we call distribution. Okay. Today, let us see the statement of theory. The statement of theory in a simple word is very effective thing that when there is a factor of production, for example, you are a businessman and your company is having in every month, the company is having the, the production of more than 500 material. For this 500 material, you are earning 1000 rupees profit. You have 500 rupees as a material, for that you are earning 1000 rupees as a profit. When you want this to be increased, you have two sources that you will have an extra employee plus employee. Right? When there is a plus employee, what will happen? There will be extra wages has to be given. And this is for the when the productivity is there in the business, when you raise the productivity, you will get the extra. This is what the statement is all about. See the statement of theory. Price of factors of production depends upon its productivity. Any production any factors of production, the price of that production depends upon the productivity. How much the productivity of the firm is there, that much the reward will be there. If the company is having the more productivity, the more reward will be there. If the company is having 1 lakhs of production in a month, they will earn 2 lakhs rupees. If they have 2 lakhs rupees, they will earn 4 lakhs rupees. It's an understandable thing that when there is the price of the factor, the price of the factor of production, every price of the factor of is land, labor, capital, organization, this fully depends upon the productivity. Point number two, the price of the factor is determined by and will be equal to the marginal revenue. The price of the factor is determined by the marginal productivity, marginal revenue, product, also will be equal to the marginal revenue product of that factors. Every price in the marginal revenue product should be has relationship between the price of the factor. If you want to know, if you want to identify the price of the factor, you should have the knowledge of marginal revenue product. When the price of the factor, when the price is equal to MRP, then only the maximum profit can be utilized. When the price is equal to MRP, marginal revenue product, then the maximum satisfaction can be reached. In some cases, price of factors will be equal to both average and marginal profit. And we all have also seen that in many cases, the price will be equal to price will be equal to MRP. This should be the ideal value. There should be the ideal level to have the maximum satisfaction, but also we can have that price is equal to average revenue product. ARP, average revenue product. So, price is equal to MRP also and price is also equal to ARP. So, what are the three aspects we have? The price of the factor fully depends upon the product. To determine the price of the factor, we need marginal revenue and it should be equal to the marginal revenue. And in many cases, price of factor should be equal to average as well as marginal revenue. See this diagram. With the help of this, we can understand properly. We have the x axis as factor unit, y axis as factor price and revenue product. Factor unit, price factor and revenue product. First, there is a curve called MFC is equal to 
AFC marginal fixed cost is equal to average fixed cost marginal fixed cost is equal to average fixed cost when the curve ARP see here when the curve ARP average revenue product curve is cutting the AFC that is the starting place that is the starting way there is the need of maximum or the extra reward for example I had a business 100 uh, product for apple business I had ok 100 apple I am selling from 10 rupees I am getting 1000 rupees right when this 100 apple I am increasing this 100 apple to 20 or 50 rupees I will earn 1000 rupees when the product rate is being increased what happens maximum price rate. but when the productivity increase it reaches to the maximum so when the AMFC marginal fixed cost and AMS fixed cost are same together what happens ARP is giving the satisfaction average value see here again the MR marginal revenue product is going up and is coming down this marginal product and both three go together MRP is equal to ARP is equal to MFC is equal to AFC this makes a path where a Q is coming the Q is the place where maximum profit is being earned Q is the place where maximum profit is being earned and after that the slowly slows down we have factors, then we have marginal product, the marginal fixed cost, average fixed cost, this is fixed because it's a profit competition market. And when the average, uh, sorry, marginal fixed cost, average fixed cost is equal to marginal revenue product and average revenue product, that is the maximum profit period. This is Q. Right? See the things. First one, profit competition. When this can be happen, then there is only profit competition. Next point. Maximum profit is equal to MFC is equal to MRP. See here. MFC is equal to MRP. This is the place where maximum profit can be found. Next one. No price exploitation. And there is a no price exploitation because each curve, both the curve is cutting this. AFC is cutting AM, uh, MFC, MFC is cutting ARP, AR is cutting MRP, MR is cutting ARP, AR is cutting MFC. Every curve is cutting at one together, there is placed the maximum profit. That's the reason price exploitation will not be because price is fixed. MFC is equal to AFC. Marginal fixed cost is there and average fixed cost because the customer will not have any exploitation. And ARP is equal to AFC is equal to ARP is equal to AFC makes a point of Q. MFC is equal to ARR, AFC, MRP, ARP. See, all are meeting together. That point is a Q. And this is the point where maximum satisfaction is used. Why we are doing it? The question we ask. For example, that when there is a lot of factors of production, we have to utilize the entire factors of production for more productivity. If there is a more productivity in the business, what will happen? The entire thing can be utilized to generate maximum profit. That's what we are doing. The point Q is the place where maximum satisfaction is there, although it's coming down, but it's never going for its view or a minus view. That makes the profit competition an ideal market for the productivity analysis. Let's see the same thing with regards to in profit competition. Let's see the same thing with the marginal productivity in profit competition. Right? We have gone x axis as factor unit, y axis as price and product. See here, AFC is having a straight going up. On the above, AFC or MFC is also going up. So, 
when the average fixed cost is going up, is going up. Marginal fixed cost uh, is going above the average fixed and ARP average revenue product is having a consumption and it is coming down in a negative. Marginal revenue product from coming from the straight high is coming and going down. Here the curve is going up, coming down here also, curve is coming and going down. Here this point makes a Q. Which point? Which point? MFC, MRP and ARP makes a curve called Q, which is the what? A place of maximum satisfaction. This is the place of maximum satisfaction. Here we get maximum result or maximum profit. Where marginal fixed cost, marginal revenue product, average revenue product, when it meets together, finds out the point Q. That is the place where maximum satisfaction is there. Let's see the explanation. If AFC is rises, AFC going rises, MFC lies above, it's going above AFC. That maximum profit at a point Q. This is the point Q as of there. AFC, MFC is equal to MRP is equal to AR. The exploitation position is there. Now we have exploitation is there. How? The Q is coming down if you see here, it is coming till here. See carefully. Listen carefully. The Q is coming down and when you want to have a touch with average fixed cost. In the perfect combination of that, average fixed cost and marginal fixed cost was together. That's the reason all the four work at a meeting point and Q was there. But in imperfect, average fixed cost is not there. Only three point has a Q. So we have to identify the fourth point. The AFC, when it comes down, it takes the point R. When it goes here, it takes point S. It's going to have P, Q, R, S. The same part is the part where exploitation will take place. Why? Because this is the change. This place is a change in price. Change in price. Here, we don't have the same thing because there we have AFC is equal to AFC. Marginal price and the average price was same here. It's not same. And the distance between the marginal price or the marginal cost and the average cost is the place where the exploitation of the consumer takes place. Okay? So we have two aspects. One is profit competition, another is imperfect competition where we have to take the entire productivity and analyze it that which will be suitable for the maximum reward. We have to get the maximum output or the maximum result from the available sources, land, labor, capital, organization we have. From this four, how can the maximum productivity can be taken off? This study of this is what we call statement theory of distribution. Okay? Dear students, dear subscribers, please subscribe our official channel GK Gen Schools. And after subscribing the channel, press the bell icon for the nearest and easiest visual in various subjects. Thank you all. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.